Well, hello everybody, it's Sean Petit, and I am so glad to be here for Soul Journey 2018. And today we're creating an affirmation journal, and I'm showing you um, some of my favorite processes for creating quick, easy, and fun backgrounds. And this is a really thoughtful and soulful process and a journal just for ourselves to really encourage our souls and our hearts. So I have taken an eight and a half by 11 cardstock and cut them in half. And then I've just punched holes for the um, ring binders. And I am not very particular about the holes. I'm sure you guys are much more sophisticated and have a ring or like a three ring binder punch, but I just did it with a single punch. And um, this is really just for me and um, for my desktop to have a daily reminder of things that I need to work on or things that my heart needs and my soul needs. And it's really important that we do that for ourselves. So right now I'm gessoing all of the pages and getting a good cover on the front and the back. <clears throat> and then I am making the little tent now that will make our affirmation journals stand up on our desks or our tables or our window seals or wherever we need to see them daily. But I'm taking two strips and I'm folding them in half and then folding up the ends and making a W or an M, however you would like to look at it. But I'm making two of those, putting some double-sided sticky tape on the sides that have folded up and I'm just sticking them together between those two pages. <clears throat> and then once you've got them stuck together, it creates this really great little tent that will make our affirmation journal stand up. <clears throat> so now I'm just showing you how I put it together. I put the front cover on and a back cover on and then the tent kind of in the middle or at the back. Um, and then I put my ring binders in. And we're going to take it all apart here in a second, but I wanted to give you an idea of what it looked like. And so you can see that you can flip it so that it stands up nicely on your tabletop or your desk. So let's get creating some fun backgrounds. So the best way for like an affirmation journal or any journal really for that matter is to just get some color down on those scary blank white pages because sometimes that just really throws us off. So I want to do quick and easy colors um, just to have something down on those pages to respond to and to create with. And one of the best ways and the fastest way is um, stencils and sprays. I threw down some rubber bands just to get some interest, to get some pattern, to get some fun um, um, images on those sheets so that I've got something to create on. It's not a blank page and I have something to respond to when I when I go to create. One of my one of my next favorite favorite ways to break the blank page is to just do some writing. Take a paintbrush and your favorite colors and this is really great for affirmation journals because I just start writing what I need. I'm looking for joy. I'm looking for confidence. I need um, you know, all of those things that um, we need to tell ourselves regularly on a regular day. Um, be bold, be strong, and just, just go for it. Hold your brush at the end of the brush so that it's loose and sloppy and it doesn't have to make any sense. It's just for you and it's just a time for you to just get color down and play and get all of the words out and all of the things that are in our hearts down on those pages and then again it gives us something to respond to when we go back and we gather up those pages and we begin to create um, a page for our affirmation journal. And here's the other one super fun easy way to make backgrounds, quick color backgrounds. Um, and have something to respond to. I'm working with a gel press and this is a 12 by 12 and I make sloppy messy strokes with my brayer and I usually only use two colors. I'll brayer those stencils down and then lift those up and just do sections of each page. 
and uh, that's why I like working with a larger um, gel plate because you can get all of these um, sections imprinted on one on one color and then we'll come back and we'll do other colors to um, add to those pages and we're just doing sections and it's just so much fun it's so therapeutic if you've done any jelly printing before it, it's addicting truly addicting and laying the stencils down <clears throat> gives us some pattern in that background some interest some color and contrast all of the supplies will be listed on the Soul Journey Facebook page. Um, the stencils are my line of stencils. All the other supplies um, are available in the Soul Journey uh, or Art and Soul Studios. <clears throat> and you can see that I'm just sectioning each little bit out and it's just so much fun to play with. And again, I'm adding two colors again and pick your favorite color, something that responds to your soul, that makes you get excited. And this is a brown, like an umber, and it just kind of um, neutralizes things a little bit, adds a little bit of grunginess. And we're going to talk a lot about neutralizing and simplifying because that is my process when I'm creating a background. I have it's very easy, simple steps that I go to every single time when I'm creating a, a journal page background. I'm just cleaning up that jelly plate on the backs of the, the backgrounds. So here's all of our quick work. I mean, it went fast, but it gives us something to respond to as we begin to create. So now I'm making the covers. And um, you can see there, that's front and back. <clears throat> And the object of this affirmation journal is to go quick. Um, we don't want it to be um, hard. We want it to be super simple and a chance for us to just get in and journal and write and do some things that we need for our souls. So my step, my process in creating backgrounds is I do two things for the most part. I create interest and then I simplify or neutralize, I'll call it. So I create interest and then I simplify. So the first stencils that I did here on this page were adding interest. <clears throat> and now I'm simplifying and I always simplify with white and black or a light color, I should say. Um, so I'm, I'm toning everything down, all of the things that are going on on this page with white. Even though it's a pattern, it's still toning it down it's pushing it back and um, it and it doesn't matter what type of pattern or anything like that so now I've got black and again I'm simplifying I'm, I'm neutralizing white and black are always a ground in my pages they're always neutralizing everything simplifying everything I'm going to add a collage image because paper is my thing. I love vintage papers. And again, I am simplifying. I'm neutralizing here. This is a light color, but again, I'm pushing things back and I'm creating my focal point, which is that butterfly. Messy, quick, and easy. I love backgrounds that just go super fast, don't think too hard, um, but I do always usually follow those rules of create interest and then simplify, create interest and simplify over and over and over again. I've got a little charcoal pencil to define my image further, to create more interest, to keep it from looking flat and to add some depth. And then I always, this is just a Sean Petit thing, but I always shade my edges, add some little marks on the background, and this page is done. It's super fast and super easy. This is the cover. So here we, again, this you'll, you'll get tired of me saying it, but I'm adding interest with color. And now I'm simplifying. And there's a lot of ways to do backgrounds. This is just my way of doing simple and quick backgrounds, journal pages. <clears throat> 
that don't take a lot of time that you can get into your, your craft space or your studio and take 15-20 minutes and create something really, really that speaks to your soul. So I've simplified with the white and the black, even though it's a pattern, um, it pushes everything back, becomes a focal point, and now I'm just shading. I always seal my pieces with Spectrafix. It is um, a low odor, no odor, um, something you can use inside and it seals that, seals the page. So now we're moving on to our handwritten um, page here. And um, again, that color in the back, that initial color in the background gives us something to respond to. It, it, it um, helps us decide what colors we like or what we don't or what what um, shapes we like. So right now I'm adding interest with color with my brayer and just some paints adding some more interest working from the colors that are already there being careful to not completely knock down the background because that's what makes a really great background is all of those different layers that peek through and again, all of these stencils are my line of stencils and they'll be linked in the supplies. So I've added my interest and now I'm simplifying. course we've got to have some collage papers and now I'm simplifying again I'm making sure that that focal point doesn't fall into the background So now this is our regular page in our affirmation journal and the most important thing about this affirmation journal is that we have the space to write what our soul needs. It's so so important. It's a daily practice. We need to talk to ourselves about what we need every single day. It's not something that just um, happens or that we accomplish. It's an ongoing process. So I used some vintage ledger paper on that on the back page there and put that down with matte medium and then that gives me a, a space when I flip the card and I see that I have a message specifically to my soul I can write on the back um, the date and what I'm feeling and what I need and it's really really important when we write down not just type it out or all the digital age but when we write down what um, what we need not what other people need, but what we need. So I've sprayed everything with Spectrafix and now I'm writing down what I need for this affirmation page. So it says, don't be afraid to ask for what you need. And that is what I needed to hear that day. And now I get a chance to write down exactly what I'm feeling or what I need. Um, so important to um, for our, for our own selves to be able to take that practice and do it every day. So now we've got our sprayed page here and those circles are great. Circles are great to respond to when we're creating a background. So I added some interest with color and um, I'm using Marabou's um, art crayons. <clears throat> those are fantastic. They're fun, fun, fun to mix with paint. When you hit them with a heat tool, they dry pretty permanent, which I love. So now I'm simplifying. I 
actually I should say now I'm adding interest. <laughs> Adding some marks, again, more fun interest, being careful to not cover up the back, using my non-dominant hand for great scratchy, scratchy marks. And now I'm responding to those shapes and trying to highlight them, uh, make them a focal point. And although this isn't white, um, it is a. It, we are simplifying. We're pushing again that background back. So I'm adding marks and it does add interest, however it's in white. So again, white and black are neutralizing it. It's calming, um, it kind of brings everything together. And I'm using fi a fine liner applicator with fluid acrylic, water, and airbrush medium in it. And so now those circles look like flowers, so I'm responding to that. And you guessed it, now I'm simplifying. Too often as we're creating, we, we fall in love with the background and that's where, where um, we end up in trouble sometimes because we end up with too much going on for a background or a journal page. You have to be willing to let go of the background. It just, the background adds to the finished piece. It adds depth and layer. And now I'm just adding some shading. And now I'm writing what I need, which is the most important thing about our affirmation journals. And I'm just prepping the edges with some marabou crayon and water um, just so that it looks finished when I put my um, vintage paper down, the area where I can journal my thoughts. All right. So the other way that you can neutralize, um, so I've got a lot of interest in that background. Now I'm neutralizing with collage paper. And it is white and light, so it's black and white basically. So we're taking down some of that background. And I love using collage paper as a neutralizer because the way that it shows up in the backgrounds is 
to me. And I always say it, it's magic. <laughs> and so we've, we've um, simplified and now we're adding interest again. And so now I'm simplifying and this wasn't the best stencil for this. I needed something better, but it, it, it did the job. Okay. I needed something a little bit more, but it ended up working out. Okay. Cause this, um, stencil really, um, brought everything together. Stencils are just a great way, a quick way <clears throat> of creating without having to think too much. And sometimes, that's what I need. I need to not have to think and just flow and think about my intentions for the pages. And so now I'm simplifying. I hope you check out all of the artists on the uh, Soul Journey Facebook page. There's just amazing talent, um, all kinds of projects, um, soul starter um, prompts, and lots of fun, fun things. Check out <clears throat> Art and Soul Studios um, and um, get your supplies from there. Now I'm just adding some shading and some marks to kind of finish this up. I do hope that you'll um, try to make an affirmation journal if you don't already have one. It's just so important on our on our journey in life to really take the time to check in with ourselves, um, to um, really be clear about what we need, that it's okay to ask for help, that it's okay to rest, that it's okay to whatever it is for you that you need to make sure that you are um, present about that and that we can learn and grow through it. So again, I'm putting my message down, message to my soul. And I didn't do anything to this back. I just loved the grungy look of it. So I just shaded it and then took a ruler and a pen and made my lines for my journaling. So we've made several pages, front and back cover, our tent. So let's put it all together. And I'm using Tim Holtz mini ring binders. And um, <clears throat> I just love that I can flip this up. It's on my desk. I can flip it up and look at it and get my daily reminders and then if there's something else that I need I have all of these wonderful pages to respond to to make a quick note to myself about what I need. Thank you so much for being with me today and I hope you enjoyed the project and I um, hope you check out all of the information on the Soul Journey Facebook page and um, I hope that you, act you um, take the time to um, nurture your soul today. It's so so important. Have a wonderful day.